This is part 3 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss setting up routing in a separate routing module and then importing that routing module in our root application module, app module. At the moment, in this Angular 6 project, we only have one component and that is our root component. To set up routing, we need more than one component. So let's go ahead and create two more components that we will anyway need for this Angular 6 project. And those components are create employee component and list employees component. Let's use Angular CLI to generate these components. And if you're new to Angular CLI, please check out this Angular CLI course. I'll have this link available in the description of this video. Let's first generate the create employee component. And here is the Angular CLI command. ng for Angular CLI itself, g for generate, c for component, and we want a folder with the name employee. And we want to create the create employee component in this folder. So let's name our component create-employee. We don't want spec files, that is unit test files to be generated. So let's set spec option to false. We also don't want a dedicated folder to be created for this create employee component. So let's set flat option to true. Now let's generate list employees component as well. There we go. We have both the components generated and the root module, app module, is also updated to import these two components and include them in the declaration array. So if we take a look at our root module, app module, we have the two components imported here and included in the declaration array here. And in the explorer window, we have our employee folder and in that, we have the required files for these two components, create employee, and list employees. When setting up routing, the first step is to set base path in our application host page, which is usually index.html. So let's take a look at index.html. Notice we already have the base path set to a single forward slash. This base path tells the Angular router how to compose navigation URLs. When we created this new Angular 6 project, Angular CLI has automatically included this base href element. To understand the significance of this base href element, please check out this part 4 of Angular CRUD tutorial. I will include the link to this playlist in the description of this video. Our next step is to create a routing module and define routes. The first obvious question that comes to our mind is, why should we create a separate routing module? Well, two reasons for separation of concerns and maintainability. If routing is in its own module, then it is easier to find and change routing code if required. So let's go ahead and generate routing module using the Angular CLI. Here is the command ng for Angular CLI itself, g for generate, m for module. By convention, the routing module class name is app routing module and the file name is app-routing.module.ts. We don't want a dedicated folder for this separate routing module, so let's set flat option to true. And we want this routing module to be imported into our root application module, app module. So let's set module option to app. There we go. We have our separate routing module created and the root module file app.module.ts is also updated to include the required import statement and this app routing module is also included in the imports array. Our next step is to define our application routes in the app routing module that we have just created. We need these three routes, list, create and an empty path route. When the user navigates to the list route, we want to display list employees component. Similarly, if the path is create, then display create employee component. If we do not include any client side path in the URL, then we want to redirect the user to this default list route. We want to include these three routes in our app routing module. But before that, we will have to import the router module and this routes type from Angular router package. So here is our app routing module file, app-routing.module.ts. In this file, let's import router module, 
and routes type from Angular router package. Next, let's include the three routes that we have just seen on the slide. Now we need to tell the Angular router about these three routes and the way we do that is by including router module in the imports array and then use its for root method and to this method we pass our three routes which are present in this constant app routes. This common module is not required in routing module so let's remove it and its associated import statement. Generally in a routing module we don't declare components so within this ng module decorator we don't need this declaration array so let's delete that. Now our final step is to define a navigation menu in our root component app component and to that navigation menu we want to tie these routes. Our navigation menu HTML looks like this. Notice we are using Bootstrap to style the navigation menu. If you are new to Bootstrap, please check out our Bootstrap tutorial. Now if you notice this HTML, we are using three directives provided by the router module and those three directives are router link active, router link and router outlet. Notice we have set router link directive to the list route. So when we click on this list link, this list route is activated. When the list route is activated, we want its associated component, which is list employees component, to be displayed. But where should that list employees component view template be displayed? Well, that is determined by this router outlet directive. So the routed component view template will be displayed at this location where we have the router outlet directive. So when the list route is active, list employees component is displayed here at this location where we have router outlet. Similarly, when the create route is active, then its associated component, create employee component, will be displayed at this location. And this router link active directive applies this active bootstrap CSS class to the route that is active. So if the list route is active, then it applies this active class to that list link. And similarly, when the create route becomes active, then this active CSS class is applied to this create link. So it appears differently from the other routes that are not active. So in our root component view template file, let's replace all this existing HTML with the navigation HTML that we have seen on the slide. Let's save all these changes. Now let's build and run our project. Notice we don't see anything on the page. So let's launch browser developer tools and see what's going on. Look at the error message. Router outlet is not a known element. Let's understand why we are getting this error. Notice we are using the router outlet directive in our root component, app component. And this root component is declared in our root module, app module. And this router outlet directive is provided by the router module which we have imported in this app routing module. So our root module doesn't know anything about this router module. So that is the reason we are getting this error router outlet is not a known element. To fix this, we have to make the router module available to our root module. And remember, we have already imported router module into this app routing module. So let's export that imported router module. And the way we do that is by using exports array. There we go. The errors are gone and we see our navigation menu. At the moment, we are on the list route, so we see list employee works message. Similarly, when we navigate to the create route, we see create employee works. And remember, we also have an empty path route. When the client side path is empty like that, we want the user to be redirected to the list route. So we see list employees works message and the route changes to for slash list because that's what we have specified as the empty path route. 
So when the client side path is empty, redirect the user to the list route. And that's what is happening right here. In our next video, we'll discuss creating a reactive form from scratch. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.